What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I haven't forgot about all of my iCloud folks. So for those of you that have purchased a phone or have an activation locked iPhone and you feel burned, you know, you feel ripped off, well in this video I'm going to be showing you how to bypass the iOS 9 iCloud activation screen and make usage of your phone. I mean, get some functionality back out of it. I know a lot of people steal phones, but for those of you that didn't, for those of you that honestly attained a phone and got burned, you know, purchased a phone and realized it was iCloud activation locked or maybe it was just signed into iCloud you updated or restored and then boom this is what you're stuck with you can't activate so with this video my goal is to let you guys get some functionality out of your device I'm going to be showing you several things for one I'm going to be showing you the DNS server bypass which is uh, pretty awesome the fact that you can get a lot of functionality games videos music streaming social media out of an activation locked device Two, I'm going to be showing you some glitches that actually allow you to get into the home screen very temporarily, but they might lead to something bigger if someone experiments more with them. A couple interesting things, but let's go ahead and jump right in. I want to mention that this does work on iOS 9.1, 9.2, 9.0.2, and lower firmwares, so all iOS 9 firmwares. It does not matter what firmware your device is. It also does not matter which device it is. So this will work with all iPhones, all iPods, and iPad models. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna show you is the glitches that allow you to get into the home screen very, very quickly. So for those of people that like messing around with glitches, uh, in the past there have been some glitches that allowed us to get into the home screen and stay there. And that way you could actually get the email or phone number of the previous owner and contact them. Maybe someone will discover something similar with this. So there's two methods to doing this. One, uh, the more difficult method is to go into a language that you're currently not set up on, such as a Spanish right here. And as soon as you click it, start holding the power and home buttons and your device will pretty much reset. And as soon as that happens, let go of the home button and keep holding the power button. Let go. And in a moment here, when my device restarts, we're gonna get a very, very brief glimpse of the home screen. And it's really cool, really interesting little glitch. I mean, I like glitches of any sort, any nature on any firmware, but uh, this was cool. So there you go, just like that. You'll get a very, very brief glimpse of the home screen and then it's gone. And there's another way, a much easier way to initiate this. So go ahead and go to another language you're not set up on. Uh, triple click the home button to enable voiceover. Okay. And then uh, select the language that you're not currently set up on. Double tap on it and start you know, spamming the power button. And eventually your device will reset just like that. And same method, you will actually see the home screen right there. I mean, for those people that like tinkering with things, take a look, maybe you can discover something. Previously there was a glitch where you would keep sliding uh, and your device would just keep crashing over and over. Eventually you'd get into the home screen, but that's not what this bypass is. I just wanted to share that with you guys to see if anyone could uh, discover anything from that. But for those of you that wanna get some functionality out of your device, you know, media, videos, music, games even, there's a lot you can do. And you can see the information of the device, such as the version number. Let's go ahead and activate the DNS server bypass. So make sure you do have a SIM card in the phone. This will not work if you do not have a SIM card belonging to the carrier of the phone. It'll just uh, not activate. So you guys wanna go ahead and jump into the Wi-Fi settings. If you're further along, just go over here and click on Wi-Fi settings. But if you don't see the little I in the circle, go ahead and click home button and select more Wi-Fi settings. So right here, let's go ahead and go into the network. Now make sure it's not connected to. If you're connected to the network, you wanna forget the network and then go into this little I once again and we're gonna type in a custom DNS. So depending on what uh, area of the world you live in, there will be different DNSs to enter. Uh, me, myself, I'm in the USA, so I'm gonna put that one in, but you can really put any one in. It just works better uh, for the one that's closer to you. Notice how there is one for the rest of the world. So if your country's not in there, uh, go ahead and use that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the USA one, which is 104.154.51. Seven. Okay, so now you're gonna click back and go ahead and click on your network and we're gonna put in the password belonging to that network. All right, I've got my network right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select join. If you get booted to this screen, go back 
And in a moment here, we should see the captive portal. Now, in some cases, it won't pop up for some people, and there could be two reasons for that. One, you entered it incorrectly in the DNS server, and two, just try a different server. The server might be down. Try it from a different location of the world, but you guys should get this screen. And this is the bypass right here. So right here, you can see these servers that are currently up and running. So let me go ahead and walk you through what you can do in here. A lot of you guys know this, but it's really cool that features are always being added. Right here, you can actually use the flashlight from your device, so enter the camera, go ahead and select take photo or video, and it's black right now, but if you select the flash button, select on, there you go, you got a working flash from this thing right here, which is really cool. Now don't select done right here, that closes the entire captive portal. So uh, before I get into the, any of the other features, I wanted to mention that when you guys actually close this, it's a little lengthy of a process to go back and redo this. You have to forget the network, uh, delete the DNS, go back, start over, and then do the same process. So enter the DNS, then enter the password. So a long Wi-Fi password could make this more difficult. Uh, it is a little inconvenient. You do have to do a little bit more work than in the past, but it is worth it. I mean, who doesn't want to get more functionality out of their device? So in here is a chat where a lot of people will talk about the latest uh, things they learn. There's actually some cool glitches I've learned from in here, uh, but don't get scammed. A lot of people are selling their services in here as well. So uh, back in the menu, and let me scroll down and show you guys that I am on iOS 9.1 first. And that's how you do it. 9.1 right there. Really cool stuff. And if I go back, I want to show you some other features. And here's where you change the language, by the way. So in here, you guys can look at so many things. There's video, audio, applications, games, and they're all web-based, but they do work very well. So you can stream Netflix or even free movies uh, if you guys are into pirating and stuff. But right here is YouTube. Vine, I mean, really, really cool. You can even get into Instagram and social media right here. So if you click on social right here, you have an option to log in to many different things, which is really cool. And then there is uh, music streaming right here. So you got a lot of options for that. And there are games and applications. So in here, there's many games you can play, which is really cool. I mean, versus having just a brick lay there that's only worth its price and parts. You now have a fully functional device that has a lot of different things it can do. And application wise, here's everything you can access. Uh, really, really cool stuff. So these crashes right here, these are for older firmwares. You know, you can get into the home screen using them, but on iOS 9, that's not currently available. Only the little thing I showed you today. So guys, that's just about it. I'm gonna go ahead and log in on my iOS 9.2 device and show you that this is working on 9.2 as well. All right, so I've got Captive Portal loaded on my device right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick that this is the 9.2 version. So I'm gonna scroll down, settings, about this device and in here you guys can see 9.2 is compatible so it really doesn't matter what firmware it's web-based so it really doesn't matter but guys that's how you do it and that's how you get uh, the bypass on ios 9 i know it's not as good as getting into the actual device but this is as close as we will ever get trust me so uh, thanks so much for watching guys enjoy your device enjoy some of the things you can do with it Hopefully this uh, helps alleviate that pain of being ripped off or just having a device that's worthless. I mean, you can do some things at least, right? Enjoy all of this cool functionality that was previously not available. Peace.